Daily Broadside, day 373. Let's talk about female, all female groups. And we're gonna pick out the most attractive person from each one. Now, in researching some of the ones that I couldn't think of, you know, if you take away all the K-pop and some of these foreign ones that nobody knows who they are, it's really not that many, you know? Uh, you start with Bananarama. Hmm, not, you might have been, maybe the dark-haired one was kind of attractive in the 80s, but nowadays, uh, not so much. And I think the one that quit the band was Sobin, Siobhan, Sobin, I don't know how you pronounce her name. I think they're German, I can't remember. But uh, they're actually one of the more popular bands, female bands of all times. And they really only had like three hits, and one of them was a cover. Uh, let's move on to the Dixie Chicks. Uh, not the uh, the cross-eyed one, but the other sister, the blonde. She was easily the most attractive. I think the cross-eyed thing, you know, uh, what are you gonna do? Falls in a well, goes, you know, cross-eyed, gets kicked by a mule, and she's fixed. But you know, so that really detracts from the look because Natalie Maines isn't even in the conversation. She looks like a blonde UPS truck or something, you know. Then you got a uh, TLC. Uh, one of them's dead, so it doesn't count. She's probably pretty ugly right now. I used to think that Chili was the pretty one, but the more it goes on, I, I think T-Boz was the most attractive one, albeit with the uh, the short hair, but uh, yeah. And then you got the, the Spice Girls. At first, I was uh, I thought that Ginger was the, the far and away winner, but I'm gonna go with Scary Spice. Um, and uh, some of those haven't aged well. And then you got Posh with those horrible implants. Your implants, I think that's a, that's what they call the over the muscle, perhaps, I could be wrong. Uh, I've only got a 50-50 shot at getting that right, but uh, your implants shouldn't look like someone just cut an orange in half and set it on a table, you know? They should have like some some heave to them, some like uh, natural like droop, but not droopy, if that makes any sense. And hers are just a little too, uh, uh, you know, um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. They're, they're just too... Anyway, moving on. So, uh, you got some of the other ones. What, what, what am I thinking of? Um, Destiny's Child. Uh, uh, you got to go with Beyonce. The other two are, are not attractive at all. In Vogue, uh, none of those are attractive. SWV, uh, can't, can't really pick one of those either. Who am I missing? There's a big one out there. Uh, Spice Girls, Bananarama. I mean, you got the Supremes. I always thought Diana Ross's eyes were too far apart, so I'd pick one of them. Uh, what is it, Mary Wells? Is that one of the other people in that? I'll pick, I'll pick her, I guess. The Ronettes. Ah, uh, you really just, you, uh, I guess you could go with the Go-Go's, uh, and that's clearly Belinda Carlisle. She was really attractive in the 80s. And then you got the Bangles. Susanna Hoffs, really cute girl. The rest of the band looks like a bunch of hammers that you left out in the yard, and, and they just rusted. They're just not, uh, they must have been so jealous at her. Um, was it Vicky Peterson? Am I, am I getting that right now? Uh, they must have been like, damn, Susanna. Always got all the looks and all the attention, and we're over here looking like corn dogs, you know. Uh, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. But then, oh, oh, I know. Uh, Wilson Phillips. So you got Wilson Phillips um, and uh, China. China was the blonde, tall one. I think that the, the redhead, the, or is she, I think she was redhead, the dark haired one was the pretty one. Um, and then you got the, the chubby one who's got a real pretty face. Um, and, but yeah, the, that we'll go with that. But China Phillips is the half sister of, ah, oh, what's that chick's name that was in one day at a time with Valerie Bertinelli. And here's the thing with Valerie Bertinelli, real pretty girl, had some weight problems later in life. That's cool. She dealt with them, whatever. But, uh, you know, she, uh, marries Eddie Van Halen, who looks like the, the assassin villain in Weekend at Bernie's, if you really, if you look at him with his short hair and all, but Valerie Bertinelli, and then, uh, I can't remember the mom's name, they're divorced, they move from one side of Indiana to the other side of Indiana, and you're like, what kind of father produced this hideous girl and this cute Valerie Bertinelli, because the mom wasn't really that pretty, uh, it, that's just some weird genetics they got going on there, because the one girl, and I can't remember her name, it seems like it starts with a J. Jackie, Julianne, I don't know. But the half-sister of China, she looks like Shelly Duvall, which is never a good look, you know? Uh, and and then you've got China, who is in the Wilson Phillips. They have the same dad, John Phillips, who was in the Mama and the Papas. Um, and I think got Michelle pregnant, who was in the Mama and the Papas. And they had 
um, China, and then there was Bijou Phillips, and then like I think it was a dude like Tartalamane or something. Some I don't know what his name. Tamerlane, Tamerlan. I don't know. I think it's a dude, but they had one son, and uh, none of those women were really that pretty. China was kind of a mildly attractive, but the rest of those women not that great. That's some weird genetics going on there uh, in the the world. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just wasting time, really. Giddy up.